Here are those of the students and do not necessarily reflect the positions of Tyler Junior College. Coming up on the Drumbeat TV, we give the latest insight to the capital murder suspects. And an inside look at the veterinary technician program. Drumbeat TV starts right now. From Studio 203 on the campus of Tyler Junior College, this is the Drumbeat. Welcome to the Drumbeat. I'm Isaiah Thornton. And I'm Veronica Perez. We begin today with the arrest of two TJC students suspected of capital murder within the city of Fort Worth. On Monday, January 23rd, Keandrick Polk was arrested by campus police while he was searching for, for his classes. He was then transported to Smith County Jail later on that day. Cedric Richardson was arrested on February 1st in Tyler by U.S. Marshals. He is currently being held on a $100,000 spell. Keandrick's spell is currently at $150,000. Whether it's a small, cute pup or something as big as Harambe the gorilla, we all have a love for animals, so much that some people turn it into a career. We take a closer look at the newly formed veterinarian technician program here at TJC. I know it may seem off, but procedures such as dissecting a chicken are essential to any hopeful future veterinarian and helps to build a foundation of their profession. Beginning just last semester, the vet tech program is something that students have long waited for in this area and what they foresee to have a popular future. Yeah, I've always wanted to do it, but there wasn't anywhere around here that offered it, so I was happy when they got it here. Within the first semester, you'll begin working on animals, as well as studying up on literacy related to the veterinary world. We do a lot of hands-on, which I like because I learn better. Um, there is a lot of book work too, but it all comes together when you have the book work and then the hands-on. Once they have graduated from the program, the students will be ready to test for the National Veterinarian Exam, leading them to be licensed veterinarian technicians. I'm actually really excited about it, and I feel with this program that we will learn everything that we need to learn in order to pass the state exam. Apart from the work and effort that the students put in, they express the huge camaraderie that is found in this tight niche group. It's been really good. We're a big family. We like to have fun and we're serious when we need to be, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. This type of career takes dedication and the students make it clear that it's more of a passion than a job. I would say most definitely make sure you have some, some type of experience first because you want to know kind of what you're getting into because you don't want to come into this program not knowing anything about it and then start it and realize, okay, this isn't what you want to do. I'm Ricardo Megano for the Drumbeat.com. The Vet Tech program is expected to move to a brand new TJC facility in Lindale sometime around March. This past Saturday, February 4th, a silent protest was held at Tyler Square to promote unity and positivity in what the organizer describes as a time of great divide. The signs held read, We Are One, in three different languages, as the organizer stated that it was the most concise way for the message to be spread. The inspiration was that I just keep seeing folks looking for opportunities to find what separates us instead of what keeps us together. Uh, we're all part of the same community. We are all um, part of the same, and in, in, in this nation, we're part of the same nation, um, and we're losing that. And I think that, that we should have an opportunity to show that we can stand together. If we may not agree on everything, that's okay. He loads big with 51 players signing their national letter of intent. Coach Palmer also gets eight players signed to bigger schools. Coming up, Maria Davis gives us an insight on the Sister to Sister and Brother to Brother program. And TJC softball team welcomes a new member. We'll be back lickety split. In the small town of Elmira, New York, a boy was born into an all-American family. The odds of him achieving his dream in the fashion industry? One in 23 million. The odds of having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 68. I am Tommy Hilfiger, and my family is affected by autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Huntington. Every proper bear knows that the right fit means everything especially when it comes to car seats. Oh, really? I just did what any bear would do. 
So know for sure that your child is in the right car seat for their age and size. I like it. To learn more, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. Oh, hello there. Oh, where's that bear? Welcome back to the drumbeat. Every new semester comes with new people at TJC. Rebecca Sanders is one of these new faces and now serves as TJC's Director of Public Affairs and Media Relations. As a TJC's formal spokesperson, her responsibilities include addressing all media-related inquiries, coordinating media events, and developing TJC's external communication strategy. In the past, she has been the PR director at Brookshire Grocery Company and has been a part of several boards in Tyler and in Smith County. One of the largest, one of the largest planetariums in the state of Texas is at TJC. There are shows on the oceans, national parks, in the night sky. Brian Kramer describes one of his favorites. A lot of people look at Saturn and think the rings are solid, but they're actually made up of billions of tiny little chunks of, you know, mainly ice and dust. And so when you fly through them, you can see that it actually breaks up into particles and you can see that it's, you know, not solid in nature. So that's one of the really cool things to do. The center also offers special events. The next one is a rock and roll party on Saturday, February 18th with roller coaster rides around the solar system and the laser style light show with classic rock music. Go to sciencecenter.tjc.edu for more information. It's a new era for the Apache softball team. Here's Isaiah for more. There's a new face on the TJC campus as coach Maria Wynn Ratliff looks to build her own legacy as the new Apache softball head coach. I don't think that I had thought about um, leaving Western Nebraska and Coach Dixon I, I know very, very well left for uh, Stephen F. Austin and the position came open, kind of visited a little bit with my husband and um, he said, why in the world would you not go check that out? And um, Dr. Drain and I set up an interview and the minute I got on campus, I knew this was a place I wanted to be. So it was just a matter of uh, convincing my family that uh, they needed to come with me. Coach Wynn has a high expectation for her team, but it's in the classroom where she wants her team to excel. When we do well in the classroom, that's going to carry over to the field. And, and so that's something that we put a lot of time into. And we really want our young ladies to strive both on and off the field. Coach Wynn is looking forward for the future of TJC softball with incoming talent. We've been very fortunate. We have seven 2017s um, signed letters of intent. We've got a few young ladies still coming in to finalize that 17 class. Um, 2018 is looking really good. We've got four young ladies verbally committed in that class as well. I've been very pleased um, from the recruiting standpoint. A lot of people want to come to TJC. The school speaks for itself, the 54 national championships. Um, it's a great place to be. When I asked Coach Wynn about leaving a mark on TJC, this is what she had to say. Um, I want to win as many games as any other coach in America does but I want my young women to be able to go out into the community um, even after TJC and be successful in life. And, and that's very important to me. And when they come in my office and, and I talk to them and their parents, that's the biggest things we talk about is, you know, that, that softball is just an, an opportunity, an avenue to help you get a degree and, and learn life lessons. And um, I want young women to communicate to me after they've, long after they've left TJC and coach, this is what's going on in my life. I'm getting married and I'm having a baby and all of these things because that means that I've done something important in their life. This is about being successful and growing people, and I want to continue to grow young women. I'm Isaiah Thornton for the drumbeat.com. You can, you can catch the softball team next home game February 21st versus Weatherford College at Bullard High School. After the break, Aji Saho brings you a sit-down interview with Maria Davis. We'll be right back. Can you help me with this? My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Sure. He helps me with homework. That would be 3.6795. Thanks. Yep. He helps me with my decision making. I wouldn't use this one. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. I'm learning so much. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome, oh, I think we're breathtaking, and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. 
Biology homework, G. What? I got this. <coughs> Is that brand? <laughs> Welcome to the drumbeat.com. I'm Aji Saho. Today we have Miss, Miss Marie Davis who will be giving us a look into the Sister to Sister and Brother to Brother Club. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Davis. Thank you so much for having me. So what is Sister to Sister about and how was it introduced to the TJC community? Sister to Sister is a national organization mm -hmm. that is mentoring for young women. Mm -hmm. uh, part of our motto is we are sisters on the same journey and together we will rise. Mm -hmm. Sister to Sister came about kind of in a back doorway. The city of Tyler, the mayor's office, came to TJC and said, we found this really great program called Brother to Brother Mentoring. Mm -hmm. We would really like for TJC to partner with the city mm -hmm. to bring this to the Tyler community. Mm -hmm. So TJC did. And in the first semester, we had nine young men that started our program. Mm -hmm. And the young women began to say, what about us? What mm -hmm. about us? Mm -hmm. We want to be mentored. We want to be mentored. Mm -hmm. So we looked into it, and I found the uh, sister organization to mm -hmm. Brother to Brother. And we uh, did the national organization dues mm -hmm. and got ourselves rolling. And now we actually have more sister to sister members than we do brother to brother mentors. Wow, so. wow. How many members do you have? We have, right now, we have about 45 young men and about mm -hmm. 70 young women. Wow. So um, what does a student have to do to apply to Sister to Sister? They just have to be a current TJC student. Mm -hmm. And we have a short application that just gives us some rudimentary information, their A number and things like that, and gives us permission to count them mm -hmm. for our national uh, data processing. It doesn't take any information from them, doesn't mm -hmm. share any information other than this person is a number. Okay. So it's very simple. We have uh, the website, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, the Facebook pages where mm -hmm. you can join on the Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. We have uh, membership whenever there's an event on campus. Mm -hmm. We have the membership forms there. Mm -hmm. Or they can always come and see me in the Learning Loft of Rogers Student Center on the third floor. Okay. So what were the um, previous events you guys organized? We were part of the School is Cool event that mm -hmm. Tyler um, Mayor's Office and the mm -hmm. Tyler ISD put on. Mm -hmm. What that was is uh, they took backpacks with school supplies mm -hmm. and our organization actually worked as runners and helped pass those out. Mm -hmm. And at one point during the day, I was in a mascot suit dancing. Wow. So we did everything. We did set up, we did tear down, we helped load and unload trucks. Mm -hmm. So anything that uh, that organization needed for that day, we were there. Thank you for joining us today. That's the end of our show. Be sure to check out the latest news on thedrumbeat.com. The opinions expressed here are those of the students and do not necessarily reflect the positions of Tyler Junior College.